Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, I'm going to teach you some tricks with the eyedropper tool in InDesign. I have a project open right now. I have white text on a colorful background. What you do if you want to, for example, select a nice purple color from this background is you select your eyedropper tool right here. You can press I or you can click on it. And let's say you want to take this pink color. Okay, I'm gonna press W so you can see what you're doing. Then I I drop that color right here. And as you can see, the color appears in this area. And I also have a black line, a black stroke, which I don't want. So I'll get rid of that by going here and pressing on none. And then I'll press on this color again so it can come in the foreground. And I can use my rectangle tool. I like to create rectangles. And I'll add that one here so I have it. And then what you can do is you go here, up here, and you press the plus new to add a new swatch. Now you created a new swatch out of this color. What if you want to add more swatches? More swatches made up of the background image colors. Well, what I do is I copy this one by using Alt and Shift and dragging. And then I have this one right here. I take my eyedropper tool again. And maybe I'll take uh, this purple color right here. Purple, bluish. Perfect. I'll do the same with the greenish color from the mountain top. It's not really greenish, but it's a different color. So it works for me. And maybe some, hmm, what am I missing? Like a darker pink. It's a little darker than the first one. And don't forget to add them all as swatches, right? Add a swatch. Click the, sec the third one. New swatch. And the last one. New swatch. You can group them all to make it nice and orderly by holding shift and then clicking on the top. I'll show you that again. Oh. Okay, so by holding shift and clicking on all of the, the ones that you want to select, you have them selected right here, and you add you click on new color group. Mountain colors. Okay, and now all the colors that I selected are in a separate folder. What's also super handy and a little bit quicker, but not as specific, is this little thing right here. If you long press on the eyedropper tool, you'll see these three options, color scheme tool, color theme tool, eyedropper tool, and measure tool. We want the color theme tool. And what you can do with that is you can click on a picture anywhere on this picture, for example, here. And then InDesign will select some of the nice colors on the picture for you. For example, uh, and it gives you different options um, of different color combinations. So colorful, bright, dark, and deep. I'll pick the bright one. And then you press on this button, add this theme to swatches. And it auto adds all of them. So bright theme, and it added the colors that it picked for you. So that's it. That's how you work with some of the eyedropper tools and the color theme tool to create some nice some nice color swatches.